So um, this is just going to be a very quick blog like audition with me. So I've got an audition. Um, it is for a commercial, of course. And it's for, I'm not even going to say the product, the brand or the service, because that might give it off um, to, you know, anybody else that's out there or maybe <laughs> the actual <laughs> um, people at the company. So anyway, um, yeah, it's a really, really quick audition. That's why I was like, oh, I can do an audition with me. Um, literally, it is straight to camera, um, medium chest, uh, high, and my character is a designer. So at first I was going to wear this, but then I realized that she's a designer. So she's a little bit fabulous. So I'm about to change it to my wardrobe for that. Um, and then, yeah, I'll be back and, um, yeah, you can audition. This is going to be a really quick audition, not because I'm making it quick, but it's a very simple audition. Like literally my character has about six or seven lines to say into the camera. Uh, I am going to use teleprompter. Uh-huh. And, um, yeah, they're not really asking for a lot. So I'm just going to, um, put on my, um, turn into my character who's a designer. Um, very fabulous. And I'll be back. See you soon. So I had already put my makeup on like two hours ago. So this is just, I needed some color on my lips because that's another thing I need to really get my lipsticks I need to invest in different lip colors and lipsticks alright I'm going to leave the hair like this the earrings I really don't need them but it just makes it it just because she's a designer it just comes together so they're looking for a chest tie so I'm gonna pull this back. It's a lot going on. Chest tie. So this is me, cause I'm, it's normally, I, it's a one man show over here, one woman show. So this is about chest tie. And so this is the framing that I'm going to do today for this uh, commercial audition. Um, like I said, I'm going to be using teleprompter, so I'm going to switch this off and um, get ready to, you know, do my thing. So for this audition, I had to send three videos. I had to send a slate, an audition, and a story, okay? The stories are very common in commercial auditions. Um, you will get that a lot where they will ask you to tell a brief story about um, the product in your life in some way or your experience with a product, brand or service that is related back to what you're auditioning for. So here they specifically asked me um, about a time I was out of this specific product. Here I am just checking uh, my frame, checking my sound, checking how I look, checking to see if I enunciate it, if I articulated my story well, if the story even makes sense. <laughs> okay, so um, it's really, really important as actors when you do your self-tape auditions, even if you do go to a service or um, you do it with friends or you're by yourself, it's really important that you always check. After each take, you will save yourself so much time um, just by, you know, making sure all of those elements are where they need to be. How does the lighting look? How do I sound? Uh, does the story make sense? So those are just some really important things to keep in mind. Okay, so I'm redoing the story because apparently, oh, actually, I don't know if I redid, no, actually I did the slate. Oh, I added onto my story, I forgot. Yeah, so I added a piece 
onto the story that I did. So I kept the original story and then I just added a piece. They wanted me to just slate my name, my height, and my location, which are the top three most common things that they ask you to slate. Um, sometimes you'll get asked other things, but really the name, the height, and the location are really the most popular three. You'll be doing that a lot with commercial auditions as well as TV and film as well. And a nice smile at the end when you're doing commercial auditions. You definitely want to up up that little bubble factor. <laughs> and I'm checking the gate. So yeah, during the daytime uh, in my setup here, I really prefer to do auditions like later on in the evening because that sun does not mix well with my lights. And so um, I always have to play around with the lights. I really do need to come up with a better system because it's been really you know, affecting me lately. Like I'm really getting irritated by always like trying to get these lights correct. So anyway, I have two umbrella lights. So I just took the umbrellas off of the lights because the umbrellas were making it kind of like cloudy. Um, so yeah, took that umbrella off and now I'm doing the audition. This is the audition. Okay. They wanted a very authentic conversational read straight to camera. So she's personable, she's relatable, but she's also a professional designer. Um, you don't need to push anything. I just try to be very authentic and matter of fact and, you know, just make it very personable. So um, I think I did about two takes, I, I believe, and I think I got it. Um, yeah. So again, here I am just checking, checking, making sure the sound, the lighting, making sure I sound correct uh, you know the verbiage is very important copy commercial copy is very important you want to get your commercial copy uh correct um because the advertisers spend a lot of money copywriters write that copy uh specifically um for the ad and you want to make sure that you articulate and enunciate and say every single word that is listed in that copy correctly um, so this is me doing a second take. Um, like I mentioned a little bit earlier, I did about, I think two takes, maybe three, but I think I did two takes of this. Um, so here I am doing it again. And as you notice, you might notice this take right here is even more personable, even more natural than the first one. I felt like the first one was natural, but this one is just even more just like very like calmer and just like I'm having a conversation. I'm telling you about this product. Hey, ooh. So, checking the gate again. You know, you always got to check the gate no matter how many takes you do. What I recommend, I recommend doing anywhere between one to three takes. I really, really, truly believe, and this is for television and film as well, but we're talking about commercials here. I really, truly believe that after that third take, yeah, it, things start to go downhill. <laughs> so really prep, 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 go into your audition, whether it's a live audition or self tape and really, you know, do one to three takes max. Um, you really don't want to go over that because like I said, the quality just, it really just goes down from there. Like, because if you don't know about the third take, then what, what's going to be different? What What's going to be so, you know, so that's just my personal opinion. And also too, when you get to set, when you book that commercial and you are on set, they are not going to be doing seven, eight, nine, 10, 20 takes. Time is money. Okay. Professional actors can get it, get it in one to three takes. Okay. So, um, yeah, there's exceptions to all rules. Like we, we know different scenarios and stuff like that, but really generally you want to keep it like that. So, this is okay. Yeah. So I did do it three times and I realized I have a lighting issue. I have a lighting issue. So I put, um, I'm fixing my ring light. Um, and I'm also adding that light behind me, uh, which gets rid of the shadows. And I, I turned off or actually closed my blinds because now I'm recalling it was just a little bit too bright on one side of my face. Um, uh, obviously the side where the blinds are. So I shut that off. I put the, uh, the light behind me to get rid of the shadows. And I think actually this was the take that won. 
um, because this take had all the elements that I needed. The lighting was good, the sound was good. Um, and again, for this specific situation, I probably would have went with uh, take one or two, but I had a lighting issue. So if you have a lighting issue or a sound issue, or um, you know, there's some type of issue with uh, a technical issue, or you're just not getting it, maybe you need more time, you know? Um, so I think, yep, yeah, I think this was it. Checking it again, very important to check the gate. Okay, I got it. Got it, all right, let's do full body, full body. So a few things, first off, when it comes to my wardrobe, I would not recommend anybody wearing, I meant to say this at the beginning, uh, wearing this for a commercial audition. This is not normal or typical commercial audition wardrobe, okay? Please do not uh, use this. Um, I have been in commercials for a really, really long time, so um, I can kind of gauge certain things, and I feel like um, I can get away with this, but I would say for beginner actors or newbies uh, into the commercial scene, or you, you're just getting into it, or maybe you've been in it for just a short amount of time, I definitely would recommend not wearing a kimono with all of these different distractions. Like, I, I did this for a specific reason. Okay, number two, I'm sorry about the white bra strap. You know, it, that's a, that's like a fashion coat or something like that. I should have wore a darker color bra. Like, who does that? But anyway, the kimono covered it up very, very well. Um, <laughs> and um, number three, so when I'm doing full body shots, I do uh, take my ring light and I bring it back and I switch my iPhone to vertical. So I do my full body shots in vertical. Um, so that's what I was doing. Um, in that yeah. instance, and I was able to get that full body shot, and it looked oh, really, really good, you. too. All right. Gang, 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 we done, we done. Now, it's time to edit, and um, I might put up the final. I'm not sure, but yeah, it's time to edit. Finally finished editing. They wanted um, the audition, and then they wanted... Um, your slate and then they want their little story which is what a lot of commercial auditions ask for it's not uh uncommon and then at the end i have my full body shot so this is actually due at three o'clock i normally never ever uh <laughs> cut cut it this close to submitting an audition but unfortunately there's been a chain of events the last couple of days i've been busy and things and things and things whatever so anyway but yeah, she's about to get sent. So um, after I've selected my final audition, it's going to upload um, onto Actors Access. I'll hit that next button. And then one thing that I always, always, always do, and I recommend everybody, please, please, please do not submit your auditions without looking at it before. Okay, now this audition should have really been submitted, obviously yesterday um or two days ago um because i was i had the weekend to do it but i wasn't fully available the weekend but i just edited it now right and i saved it uploaded it when i checked it i realized that my audition i forgot to edit out me walking to the camera and stopping and the beginning, when I say my first line for the audition, it was like kind of cut off. So I had to come back into iMovie and make those adjustments, resave it. It's a large file. So it took a while to save. Um, and now I'm re-uploading it. So after it uploads on Actress Access, it's going to go to the processing. I'm going to process. Um, so again, this is cutting it. This is 2.15. This is due by 3. Oof. I know I haven't I haven't done a, a a deadline this close to deadline time in a very long time job. <laughs> so now here's the final audition. We're gonna go next. Okay. So uh, rename it. Okay. If you want to, you can also preview it. Check it. All right, so I've checked it. It looks good. Okay, submit the audition. 
All right, this is the guest director.